guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Alex and as you guys can see by today's title and by the thumbnail I picked up some new shoes it has been long overdue and you guys actually helped me pick some of these shoes out I wanted to find super comfortable shoes so I took one of those question things on Instagram and asked you guys what your favorite comfiest shoes were I got a lot of recommendations so thank you guys so much for helping me but I narrowed it down to four different pairs and these are them so I'm super excited to try them show you guys what they look like and which ones I chose without further ado let's get right into this video <laughs> This tower, it just keeps falling, so we're, we're gonna <laughs> have to lower them like this. So, first shoe are these Women's Nike Shocks, the Enigma 9000. These are in a size 7, and I got them in the all-white. These shoes retailed for $122.99, which afterwards I did realize they went on sale even more. So they were nice enough to price adjust them for me and just returned, I think it was like $10 or $15, that the price got reduced more. So I picked up these shoes because they looked really comfy from the picture. But to be honest, I don't really like how they look in person. I think they looked way nicer online. And they're just not a shoe that I would lean Towards even the back, I don't like the way that the back looks. Comfort, I would say like a 7.5 out of 10, but looks wise, honestly, I would just give them a 6. I don't really think there's anything special to it. They just... I don't know. Air Force Ones are my go-to for white sneakers, but I really like the way that these looked online. But now that I see them, not really a fan. And they are very durable. The fabric seems like they will hold together very well. And this is just what they look like at the bottom. I don't know what I was expecting. I just thought it was going to be a lot more comfortable and I thought these would like squish in and out. I don't know. I was just expecting something different. So when I saw these, I was just like, meh. Next up, these are the Women's Nike Air Max 2X. These ones I also got in a size 7. So they are a cool, like, blue. I don't own any shoes this blue color. So that's why I picked these ones up. They're like a periwinkle, bluish purple color. Online, they did look a little bit more vibrant. So I was expecting a more vibrant shoe, but now that I see them, they are more of a pastel color. But I really like the pink, white, and blue that these shoes have on them, but they are more flat foot. So those ones did have more of an arch. So you do feel yourself kind of standing like this, opposed to flat footed shoes like this one where your feet kind of just lay flat. I wouldn't say I would buy these for comfort and to work in them, but they are really cute. Size wise, 10 out of 10, they fit me perfectly. I really like the way that they felt comfort wise. I would say, again, it's probably like a 7.5. Definitely could not wear these for a long shift, but I could walk around with them and like just casual, like going out on errands or stuff like that, but definitely not working eight hours on my feet. I feel like these, I would just get really tired really fast. Also, price-wise, these were $120 plus tax. In case you guys want to see them side by side, this. Is how they look so next up we have the nike women's renew in season tr and they are in a seven and a half these shoes i had to actually purchase them twice i purchased two different kinds in two different colors from two different companies and i only received one pair of shoes so i'm dealing with a headache with one of the companies where the company said that they had delivered the shoes to my community mailbox so i have a mailbox right outside my house and then i have a bigger community mailbox with like bigger packages and all of that and it wasn't in my mailbox, but it said according to delivery, it was delivered to my mailbox. It was not, so either the mailman stole it or my neighbors, whoever got the package in their mail stole it. So one out of two things happened and I am still waiting for either a, a refund from the company or for them to be able to find the package. And it has actually been two weeks since I have been dealing with this, which now that I just remembered, I am going to call them either today or tomorrow and just see updates on this because I have not got a refund. It has been two weeks. I don't have a refund and I don't have my shoes. So like, so I'll show you guys. Some of you guys might like the colors, some of you don't. So let me know what you guys think about these ones because I'm like iffy on them. I kind of like them. Like the more I see them, the more I'm liking them. They're not like a typical shoe color. These are them. They are pink, green, and white. 
and they just say Nike like that a little stripe down it says Nike I might just give them a 9 out of 10 for color wise price wise of these they were a hundred dollars one thing about these shoes is they are just super lightweight the other ones were a little bit more heavy especially the white ones that I first showed they were a little bit more heavy but these ones are just really lightweight I got these in a seven and a half because I saw reviews the original ones that were stolen or lost or whatever were a size 7 but I saw reviews on the other company saying that you had to size up half a size because they ran a little bit smaller and I'm kind of glad that I did go for a seven and a half I'm not too sure if the sevens would have been too tight but these are definitely not too big so I can't compare it size wise for you guys just because I never got the other ones but seven and a half was good so if you want to be on the safer side definitely do size up half a size it's not too too big honestly I feel like sizing up was the best choice and I'm glad that the reviews on that company said to size up so I got it in a seven and a half super comfortable shoes I actually really like them although yes they are flat everybody's feet is different and for me personally flat shoes just are a little bit more uncomfortable I like more of a heel so for these I will give them an 8 out of 10 though for comfort wise size wise size half a size up I feel like the more I see them they do grow on and then just so you guys know at the front of them is mesh these are the two right beside each other I really do like how they have the Nike like across so yeah, these are them and lastly so these ones I saw them in a store with my boyfriend and as soon as I tried them on I was like I need these because these I'm telling you right now are 11 out of 10 for comfort Nike Air Max 2090 GS I got them in a youth size 5 so child's 5 I bought these from foot action it's kind of like a hipster shoe store in the malls now that a lot of them are popping up if you're in the Toronto area they have it at like Fairview Vaughn Mills Markville has one I don't know if Yorkdale might have one I'm not too sure but I got these specific ones at Fairview location and at first I thought these were the 270s if you guys don't know no, I am obsessed with 270s. I have like five different pairs, all colorways. I love 270s. But I saw these and I tried them on and I thought these were the updated version, like an upgraded version because they look really similar, but comfort wise, my go-to. They were the only colorway that these guys had, so I just picked them up right away. But again, I'm like a little iffy on the colorway, but let me know what you guys think. So these are them. So they're like a super cute pink and purple I don't know it's so interesting and then it has like this at the back some like jelly to go on it and this is that so they're super similar to 270s so I that's why I thought that these were just the updated version like a 2.0 but this is that like this I really like the black detailing as well so it's black white pink and purple these shoes were the most expensive ones retailing at a hundred and forty five dollars for these so these are definitely the most expensive shoes but definitely I highly recommend these ones I tried them on and the thickness of the cushion even around like here the back part I don't know if you can see it has a lot of cushion so it's a lot of support for the back which absolutely love it it's so comfortable especially if you're standing for a long period of time like I do so as soon as I tried these on I told my boyfriend because I had already bought all these shoes so my boyfriend knew that I had all of these shoes coming and as soon as I saw these ones though and I tried them on I was like I need to buy these ones like these are the shoes these are the winners these are the shoes and he was like but you have four on the way do you really need another pair of shoes and I was like you don't understand these are just the most comfortable ones and I still had hope for these ones but I just was like I couldn't pass these up they were just so comfortable I didn't know if they would have them when we came back or anything I don't know how comfortable these were so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna buy them I love them so yeah I don't know if they have more colors maybe I'll look if they have other colors but I highly recommend trying these out if you guys want comfort these are literally 11 out of 10 they do have a little bit more of a heel so they are not a flat shoe so you definitely feel that the heel is higher and your foot kind of goes down a little which is super comfortable and then padding they have just so much padding and bounce in them highly recommend these I can't rave enough about them the only thing that was like throwing me off was the color but I don't know I think they're kind of growing on me I don't have this colorway in my collection that's what they look like 
I really like the pink though. But okay guys, and that is everything for today's shoe haul. Let me know what order you like that. These shoes are definitely in top spot. Second spot, the Nike Renews that retailed for $100. Third place, Nike Air Max 2X that retailed for $120. And last place, we have the Nike Enigma 9000s that were $122.99. But yeah guys, that is everything for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!